Hi guys, this is Mrs. Ulrey, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about how to calculate formula mass. So formula mass is looking at the mass of an entire compound, and we get the masses by looking on the periodic table. So if I look in the periodic table, I can find a mass for lead, I can find a mass for nitrogen, I can find a mass for oxygen, but nowhere on the periodic table does it have PbNO3. So I have to look up each of these individually and then add them together. So I'm going to give you a list of steps that will make it very easy easy for you to calculate formula mass. So step one is we're going to list the elements. So we can see um, each time we have a capital letter that indicates a new element. So we've got PB in this compound, N and O. So PB is lead, N is nitrogen, and O is oxygen. Then step two is we're going to find the molar masses of each of these elements on the periodic table. So I'm going to go look at my periodic table squares and I'm going to see that lead has a mass of 207.2, nitrogen is 14.01, and oxygen is 16. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the molar masses by the subscripts, meaning how many of each atom we have. So if I take a look, lead um, doesn't have a number by it, so that would be a subscript of 1. Nitrogen has a subscript of 1, and then it also has the 4 outside of the parentheses, so we'd be multiplying nitrogen by 4. And then oxygen has a subscript of 3, and it has a subscript of 4 out here. So if we look, lead, we're going to multiply 1 by 1. Um, nitrogen, I'm going to multiply it by 1 and 4. So 1, and then this 4 applies to everything inside of the parentheses. So I'm going to take 1 nitrogen times the 4 on the parentheses, and then for my oxygen, I have a subscript of 3 directly by the oxygen, as well as the 4, which applies on the outside. We distribute that 4 throughout. And so then I'm going to put this into my calculator, and we're going to see that I have 207. 56.04 comes from my mass of nitrogen, and 192 um, for my mass of oxygen. Then I'm going to simply just add all of these masses together to get my total mass. So step four is add them all together. So 207.2, 56.04, and 192 added together. So my total formula mass for this whole thing is 355.24 grams per mole. And that is how you calculate a formula mass.